Yeah, so this is what you need to do. So over here on this button, if you press the left side, first of all go to A on the top. So you've got a red A up on top. You press that and then you get the different focusing areas. So what auto is in is in 23 area. What you want to do is go to one area and say OK for that. And then you want to press the button on the top, the front one, which has the burst shooting modes, and you want to move that, as you see, again with the thing here, move that along to 5.5 frames autofocus, which this thing isn't doing. Okay, and then the other one you want to do, and so we come out of that, is to go, and it should be on function button 1, is to go that should bring up the different metering modes and you want to go to spot metering so you can see the difference there you've got centered multi-metering will give you metering on the whole screen oh, wrong one. if you go to spot metering that gives you actually in where the focus point is so you see that little, that little turquoise cross Sorry, it's now come up. So then, like I say, now if you press the, the focus button, it gives you the ability to move or change the size. So you can use the, the wheel up here to change the size. You'll see if you move it around, right, the, the little turquoise cross, which is the metering, moves with it. So... You can see there it got brighter because it went to a darker piece of the screen and then it, it gets darker. So you then get the right metering for what you're focusing on. The other thing that you can also do now is if you use the up and down um, control on the left side of the, uh, the lens, if you go into manual focus, so you flip that down to the bottom and then you use this, you'll see actually zooms right in and then you can get a really accurate focus see that's in focus there and then that will drop back so if you've got something like this where you know the bird's going to land in a specific place you can actually set the the camera to focus really accurately in that space the other thing that you can tell is you see the little yellow area there that Gives you the depth of field so at the moment you want to be i've got this on f4 so if you press this back button it goes to there where it's yellow so if you change that down now to 2.8 which is probably where you want to be and you go back in here and do this you should see now the yellow area is much smaller and certainly if i go back here now and change that to the maximum f8 and we go back in here you'll see that the focusing depth of field is much bigger now that is something you can you can certainly use when you're doing macro because in macro that will give you a lot lot deeper field of view but it, you will get a, sh a slower shutter speed so we'll put that back to f2.8 and that's where you should be so then when you when you press the shutter, let's put that back into auto, you press the shutter and it tells you up, up the top here what you've got, what settings. And in fact, if you if you press the this bottom button here, it allows you to go along and change those settings as well. I mean, I, you may be aware of, of all this. So if you wanted to change um, the, that's that's changing the focus points again so you can see that's a single focus point and then if you go in there it says one area and you can do 23 areas so you want to be in one area so the other thing is now when I press the shutter rather than just getting one picture if I do this it'll go so that's taken about five or six frames all at once all right cheers